Hello, welcome guys. In this video, we will draw the shear force in a bending moment diagram of this beam in a SEP 2000 and also verifying those results with the theoretical calculated results. So, this is the beam we have to draw a shear force in a bending moment diagram. So, first tip uh, open the SEP 2000. I have already opened the SEP 2000. Come and click on a file. So, I'll click on a file options and then I have to select on this new model. When I click on this model, and then this new model, this draw is a menu is open. So here I have to select the, the default units uh, to which I have to work on. Uh, if I have to check on my beam, so the units here are in the force unit as in kilonewton and the distance unit is in meter. So click on this uh, drop down and this and, uh, and from this drop down menu you have to select a kilonewton meter. Then select on uh, the grid only. So here, here is asking for the number of the grid lines, uh, the number of the grid lines in x directions, the y direction and z directions. Uh. So if you have to check on this beam, this is the x direction in a safe 2000 and this is the vertical is the z direction and into the plane, this direction will be a y direction. So as only our beam is in a two dimension, so we have the x, we have the x and z directions. Uh. And this x directions, this is the x directions. Uh, so the number of the grid lines uh, we have to take uh, first uh, grid line at this point, uh, and we will take a second uh, at this point because he here the load variation changes. Like from the two kilonewton, it changes into zero, and this will be our third grid lines. Uh. So in these two grid lines, uh, we have to define the supports, and this will be uh, like the load variation point. So, so in this uh, in this in this x direction, we have the three grids, the number of grids. This is the x direction. Like this is the x direction and the number of grid lines are 1, 2 and 3. I will select click on this and change it to number of grid lines into 3. And this is the y direction. So in the y direction generally into the plane in the 3D. So we don't have any increase in this because our beam is in two dimensions. So I will just select this 1. And this is the z direction, also in z direction. It is it don't have any grids. It's like, like not like a frame we have like the vertical member etc so the, here you don't have any vertical um, vertical member so um, you don't have any grid in a z direction we will also select this as a one next is the grid spacing so the now grid spacing is the spacing between the two grids uh, so, uh, if we check out this beam so uh, the distance between these two grids is 4.5 meter and then also in the, in the next two grids this is 4.5 meter so i will type in a, a direction 4.5 meter the y direction so we will leave it as a default because we are number of grids uh, in both y and z directions are the ones so i will click on ok so this uh, grid has been beam uh, grid. this is the beam we have to define our grid uh, i will click on uh, exit direction so this is the exit direction the first grid and this will be a second grid and this is a, a third grid this is the first grid and then this is the second grid and this is the third grid. Make sure that you have silent click on the exit directions. Then the next section I will click uh, here on the define and then come into load patterns. So in this case we don't want to uh, include our sulfate of the beam in the calculation. So here we will click on zero and so this is a dead dead load and we will modify it to zero. So the dead load is zero. We don't want to in include any sulfate in the beam. So we will take the dead load as a zero. The next thing is we have to draw our beam. So click on the draw and this on uh, draw and click here and um, in this drop down menu, just click on the draw quick frame cable or tendon. So hold, click on this menu and uh, shift it to the other side like this. This is the 3D view of the beam. So first I have select click on the first point of the beam and then go and then drag my mouse and click on this point. Again, I will select on this point so our beam has been drawn. Then, when press on escape on the keyboard, so her beam has been drawn. Like this is the first segment of the beam. This will be in a second part of the segment of the beam. You can also, uh, if you click on mouse on this and click on the right click on options, so we will come here. We come as a different properties like the assignment, uh, locations, um, like its, it's length is for if you click come here and click on location so its length is a 4.5 meter and if you right click on this member and come here to locations it's also 4.5 meter the next thing so we have to assign the support zone so if you come in drone segment 
if you to check on this beam so this is the first this is a as a pen supporter and this is as a roller supporter so this is like uh, this it will be like the origin point like the zero and uh, from this point at nine meter we have a roller supporter so um, make a car rectangle selections on this and um, you this point will be selected then click uh, come here and click on assign then joint and then restrain uh, yeah, so in this menu this is um, usually the first support we have uh, from this first and is a pen support uh, so I will select on this icon and pen support and then when apply and then okay the next uh, we have the roller support at this end uh, so I will make a uh, window selection like this you can also select the single click so this has been selected like this X dotted line uh, cross has been drawn so we will be this being selected I will click come here again and zone and click on the joint restraint and this time I have to define it is a roller supporter so I will click on this uh, roller support and then when we'll click on apply and then okay so this is the usual our supports have been uh, defined uh, to the beam this is the pin support and this is the roller support the next thing is we have to define the load so I will play again and draw a rectangle selection this and this first part has been selected uh, then assign then come here and click on assign the frame loads and I usually this is a distributor load of uh, like if you see the way the load has been distributed from 2 kN at this point to 0 it comes to 0 and then again it's going to increasing so at this first point uh, we have to select uh, like uh, we want absolute distance uh, so at first uh, zero point like this is our the zero point uh, like from there is our beam starts and this is length going to increase like this so at this zero point uh, the load is two kilonewton per meter so at this zero point uh, i will select uh, the load as a four sorry two this is two kilonewton per meter so i will select the two kilonewton per meter and this next option we have to draw as a load variations like um, if you come to here in this point after 4.5 meter from this point uh, this load tends to decrease and become zero so at 4 me 4.5 meter from this um, the load is zero so I will click 4.5 and uh, so zero is already been selected so I will click and uh, I apply so you see the here the doors have been defined the next uh, I have to click uh, make a rectangular selections uh, and this part and this will be highlighted as a dotted line again I have to come and assign and then to frame loads um, frame loads and this when you click on the distributed load uh, if you to check out the this part uh, um, the this part of uh, the beam the this part of the beam so this will be like our the no this is like um it will be like our zero point uh, and uh, this this will be up to 4.5 meter so uh and i will come here in absolute distance so so here in this if it is zero point uh, so this here the load is zero uh, so i will select uh, zero uh, and then at a uh, 4.5 distance um the load is uh, generally like increasing to two kilonewton per meter so I will search 4.5 is already selected and here I will type 2 like it is 0 the 0 point uh, like the 0 load is uh, uh, distributed load is 0 kilonewton per meter and then after at a 4.5 meter and this the load has, is 2 kilonewton per meter so I will click on apply and then ok so our loads have been uh, applied and next thing so we have to run the analysis so come here and click on this Mm. this icon and our model will be so our loads have been uh, defined and so uh, next thing so we have to run the analysis uh, uh, so come here and click on this um, this icon uh, run analysis and do we don't want to um, our model to run so we click on this and uh, click on the run uh, don't run next we have to run now click on the run now but first of all because we have to save our beam so we can save our file so we will click here and save our file as a beam so I will save it so if you wait then our beam analysis will be run and this is uh, the deflected to uh, shape of the beam which have been drawn so if you come here and click on the on this this is the deflected shape of the beam so if you to check the 
shear force and bending moment will be to click on this uh, display button click on this display and uh, in the drop down menu show, select show forces and stresses and then we have to select uh, the frame or cable or tendons so click here and come uh, click here and click on this shear force 22 and we also want to show its values so click on this shear 22 and then show values and then we click and apply so this is the shear force and bending shear force diagram has been drawn like if you to see if you to check the theoretical calculations um, so this is the shear force so like the 4.5 at uh, the first point and this is decreases to negative 4.5 at a distance of uh, 9 meter but the shear force but the shape tools usually draw the shear force um, uh, uh, in, uh, in the opposite direction like uh, in like usually its conventions are in different um, so that uh, although its magnitude will be exactly the same so it, it, initial zero point we have the 4.5 so like this uh, sorry in, in this zero point we have 4.5 and this uh, again this is going to um, in decreases and then again it's going to increase for 4.5 so so it's uh, so it's shape is generally different uh, like for, from 4.5 to it is to negative 4.5 but in shape to those in it usually decreases from negative 4.5 to 4 positive 4.5 but also the magnitude is exactly same so if, uh, next we have to display the moment diagram so come here and click on the show forces and stresses and then we click on a frame um, tendon and here we should display the bending moment diagram so we we'll click on this moment 33 and then click uh, show and show values have been selected we will click on apply and then okay so this is the bending moment is 6.7 kilo newton per meter so this is the uh, shear force and bend this so this what this is the moment diagram of uh, the theoretical calculations we have been calculated of this beam and this is 6.75 um magnitude the max like the maximum movement in the middle of uh, the beam at 4.5 meter and this and this is the plus 6.5 but in safe 2000 our signs uh, are different uh, all the magnitude is same so this is the 6.75 but in the di downward direction the magnitude is the same so these uh, have been these are the values which we have the uh, verified through the theoretical calculations um, uh, if, uh, if you right click on the if you right click on the beam it will show the more details of this beam like um this is the like this is the shear force um like the shear force uh, like it's decreased at 4.5 this is the midpoint of the beam like if we show this like the mid beam the point of beam where the shear force uh, generally becomes zero so if you click check out this beam like this is the beam the shear force and uh, generally generally decreasing from the uh, from the initial point to so it was been uh, from 4.5 to 0 so uh, this is the shear force diagram like initial 4.5 but at cross we go towards uh, the end of the beam like in the middle of the beam at a minute 4.5 meter this shear force becomes zero so you can also check this uh, if I just click on this beam and then you can also check these uh, different details there are a lot of details like the distance load of shear force uh, and a moment detail so this is about this guide if you uh, want to hear we check the uh, shear force and the bending moment uh, of diagram of a beam with the theoretical calculations uh, if you want to check out the support reactions you can also check out the support reactions like um, again click on display show forces as stresses and then joints and click on, on apply so this is the support reactions um, at a first support tier 4.5 and uh, another support at the end support uh, also 4.5 uh, kilonewton like this support this is the first reaction will be 4.5 in this uh, another four reactions will you in the vertical this will be 4.5 so i hope you like guys this like this video if you like this video please uh, subscribe to our channel